What's up, people? Mike Wienerbach here giving tips as to forgotten exercises, or exercises that are not being done often enough or whatever. Number one, the prison tricep extension. Don't ask me how I know this one. So get a deep stretch, push yourself back. As you get better, you can lower the bar, beginners put higher up. By the same token, the fat man pull up or reverse row, inverted row, sorry. A great finisher for the back. Just really bring your chest up here, squeeze tight. In the same category falls the Bradford press, which is a bit dependent on flexibility. So you don't really lock out, you're just moving the bar, just like so. And then you could finish up with a regular shoulder press if you're so inclined. And then let's put this down. My favorite hamstring exercise, the banded deadlift. I'm using a human <laughs> as my counterweight. Don't try this at home. Please tie it properly. So you step back a little. So I create tension here. And now it's really all in my hamstrings. It's like, I've given up on pull throughs. Most people feel this one so much better that, like I said, pulls don't even come close. Next I have, uh, I saw this, Charles Glass was doing it with Günther Schlierkamp way back when, but you can work the strength curve quite well for the curls and you have the possibility of holding the squeeze. So you really get tension from here to here, which is more than you would in a regular curl. Uh, since I'm here, this might be a bit ambitious with 25s, but the Superman press, yeah, it is ambitious. Normally I would go lighter, but anything for the fans. And for the chest, Since our new home has hex dumbbells, we can actually do proper squeeze presses. As the name implies, you're squeezing inward, engaging the chest without ever locking out. And around the world. Starting here, and then this is Really, you feel it, ah, as you can tell. Great chest finisher. Again, depends on the flexibility. Your gym probably has all kinds of cool hammer strength machines. Well, we don't, so we gotta make our own. So the eagle row, sorry, the spider row, it's fantastic. Slight tilt in the hands, engage the lats, shoulder blades. Get a tight squeeze. Might want to put a plate in front of the bench so it doesn't move. That's one version. And then it's sort of distant cousin would be the eagle row, which would also allow you mid-back targeting. You could start out palms facing forward and then pumps inward as you fatigue. And the last one I have is something that is maybe not forgotten so much, but laughed upon or poo-pooed, the cable squat. So the cable squat, I know you're super strong and it's not enough weight for you, blah, 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 but most people have a hard time balancing a bar so with this, they can focus on sitting back on the heels and nothing else and squatting. And if, you know, if you're very advanced, you know, go for it, do the elevator, where you go quarter rep, half, and then full. And I guarantee you, no matter what a big, bad bodybuilder you are, your quads will be burning. 
So that's it for my end, guys. Please help me out. Help me get good information out. There's too much garbage on YouTube. Subscribe, share, follow, whatever you like. Thanks as always, Mike.